first time I came to Point Porphyry was around in the 50s with my parents, and we came to visit the lightkeepers, Fran and Cliff McKay. The first time I came to this island was uh, back in uh, the 70s when there were lighthouse keepers here, and uh, they had a tractor on the island and uh, with a wagon, and uh, they, they, they brought us a kilometer journey right from the docks to the lighthouse. We walked up the, the path and we were blown away by what we saw. And to see that they had just been left, almost like they, somebody, they were, they were expecting to come back, but they never, they never came back. We looked at each other and it's like, yeah, we, we need to come back here, and we did. The first time I came to, to Porphyry, my wife and I were on our way to uh, Thunder Bay from Rossport and I pulled in just to have a look at the lighthouse because I've always been interested in lighthouses and uh, we walked up the trail and uh, I was just uh, totally disappointed and uh, struck by the uh, condition the lighthouse was in, the vandalism that had been done to it, the needless destruction and I made up my mind then that uh, we're gonna have to do something for these lighthouses because the, uh, the government doesn't seem to care about them anymore. The first time I came to Porphyry Island, to see it so desolated, it uh, reminded me of all the survival and the boat traffic out here and how the lighthouse here was getting so deteriorated. So it was, it was something to see and fix up. It was uh, part of our heritage. Started off from Thunder Bay, drove to Silver Island, beautiful ride, got on a tugboat and was much more than expected. The thing was 40 feet long, huge. The captain was delightful and we cruised through here and I had never been here before and it was a quite, quite the experience. The existing property here had not had, had someone here for 18 years. Well, if you have a house and other buildings and no one takes care of it for 18 years and it leaves it open for vandalism and animals, it will deteriorate beyond the point of no repair. So really, if we wanted to uh, shall we say save or promote and preserve these lighthouses they wouldn't be here they're not here forever so you either use them or lose them the importance of doing the work now is because the buildings are starting to get a little bit dilapidated it's important to uh, keep them up before they actually um, come have to come down we uh, started off last year already with painting the outside of the buildings and the lighthouses and this time uh, we're painting the inside along with the outside. We've had many volunteers. The experience and the camaraderie is amazing. It starts with a board meeting, it starts with a brainstorming different ideas, uh, then it, it becomes a, a plan, then we have to approach the uh, people that, for the donations, we have to get transportation. There's so much involved, but it's worth, worth every minute of it. The mandate of the Canadian Lighthouses of Lake Superior is to promote, preserve, protect and promote the access of the public to lighthouses on Superior's North Shore. Coming to Thunder Bay as a tourist, you, the first thing you notice is the wonderful water and the Lake Superior, and then extension you can see the Sleeping Giant, and then you start to see the light houses and the light stations around the lake, and it's just an extension of being in Thunder Bay. When I came here this weekend as a volunteer, my main objective was to clear brush open the place up and cut all the brush around the area because it was quite grown in after a few years. I'm a volunteer here in the sense that I help out and do things, but there's a lot of history here. and There's a lot of enjoyment and watching things and seeing, seeing where the lines went and seeing where the, where the boats were, seeing the, seeing the docks and of other people who've been here before. Uh, doing that gives you a feeling really as being part of it. I'm volunteering today because I think uh, I've been on the lake all my life and enjoyed it and I'd like to give back a little bit of the uh, uh, things I've done and, and fun I've had so other people could do the same and I enjoy it. I think the lighthouses are a major part of our, our history in this area and to see them deteriorate is really heartbreaking and I, I think they deserve a second chance. Spending a weekend painting is, is nothing. I mean, I would be at home doing housework, so I may as well be here having fun and, and giving something back. As I'm clearing the land, I see so many things of history that what happened here years ago. I'm finding old bottles, I'm finding old pieces of metal, which is, brings back such 
trying to figure out where it belongs, how does it go, how does it associate with the lighthouse. And as I open it up, the beauty and, and, the, and the vast land here is just, it's just unbelievable. It makes it look a lot more like a lighthouse instead of grown in desolated bush. What we're interested in for the future is actually to expand uh, the lighthouses that we have. We have two existing, that of Porphyry and Shaganosh, but we're also interested in uh, Trowbridge and Thunder Bay, Maine, and that would extend our uh, range, shall we say, from Thunder Bay almost to Nipigon along the North Shore here. The, the experience of being here has a special, a special, something special for, for me. I think um, having come from Holland originally and being here at this point, Holland has, has a history of many, many hundreds of years and over here we only have about 100, 150 and so it's very important to preserve what we have because we, we only get the chance once and this is a good time to do it and that's, I think that's one of the reasons why I like volunteering here. have a unique opportunity to repair part of history and to keep it for future generations and to let them enjoy something that's no longer around in the really in the country. It's uh, it's just incredible to be out here. Uh, it's uh, refreshing. It's uh, just uh, uh, relaxing. It's it's uh, the work is uh, is not a problem. It's uh, it's very enjoyable. I come here because I have a passion for lighthouses. I want to save them. I want to be part of the the people, uh, the community that wants to save lighthouses. It's something to give back. Instead of uh, tearing them down, other generations can share, share them, the experience of the lighthouse living. It's an important also, I feel, for the government to see that volunteers can keep these organizations, or can keep these buildings in repair and uh, keep them up. So it's also important for the public to see them, to know what happened here, that families actually grew up here. I think that the uh, connection between the people in Thunder Bay and for that matter all over the Great Lakes to the lighthouses is it's a historical uh, buildings and, and uh, lifestyle that uh, we need to we need to maintain so that uh, uh, for the future I think the public has to get involved and and uh, and keep these 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 traditional places alive if we don't step up and do something somebody else is going to step up and do the wrong thing. So by doing this, we're showing them that, yeah, somebody does care. I think this, to come out here is uh, an experience like none other. It's just uh, a wonderful place to be and uh, very relaxing. It's just a fantastic, beautiful place and a wonderful experience for everybody. I, I wish everybody could experience this.